Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm bringing you quite a special battle. Uh, it's not like any of the battle I've really uploaded onto my channel before. Um, if you guys are real Pokemon fanatics, you will know about the person called Sucker for Jessica on YouTube. At the moment he is uh, running a 4v4 or double battle with 4 uh, Genesect uh, Quick Claw Metronome um, tournament. So it's completely random, completely lucky if you win or not. So uh, I, I had my game against some guy called Aquatines before. Uh, he doesn't upload Pokemon, I don't think, but I'll just put his link in the description anyway. Uh, it was a funny game. He beat me uh, the second match we had. Um, we just played some more for lols. And they were uh, quite interesting, especially with Metronome being as unpredictable as it is. So uh, I hope you enjoy something very different from the usual I upload. And um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And hopefully I will win this tournament. So anyway, let's get into the battle. I spread it up a bit. It, I mean, spread? Sped it up a bit. It's not actually a long battle, but Metronome and uh, the like shiny animation and download and all the uh, stat boosts and stuff that people get, it makes the video extra long and I just don't want to deal with it. So I don't quite understand the nicknames of his Genesect, but who cares? So um, I go for the Metronome, obviously. And on the first turn, I get... That TM87 Swagger, uh, that if you haven't seen the song by uh, Shofu and other people, come confusing it, go watch it. But I get the Swagger, and uh, he confu I raise his attack, but he gets confused, and I also get the Force Palm Paralyzation on his Genesect, which means he's going to be the slowest Genesect on the field, which is awesome. And then he hurts himself from confusion, and he gets hurt by the Power Hacks, or hurt by the Power Hacks, prevented from attacking me by the Power Hacks. So I go for the Crush Claw, I think Crush Claw gives you a plus one attack sometimes, but um, I didn't get it, it would have been quite unfair considering all the hacks I got. And then I whip out this Grass Whistle, and it actually hits, and I <laughs> put his um, Genesect to sleep, which probably benefits him because he can't hurt himself with the uh, Confusion anymore, but he gets a Quick Claw, but it doesn't matter, he's still asleep anyway. So obviously I go for the Metronome, get Silver Wind. Uh, hoping for the uh, you know mega boost one plus and everything, but I don't get it. In the battle, I got Quiver Dance when I wanted a move that could uh, KO two people at once. Here I whip out the Frenzy Plant, but it's not very effective because it's like four times resistant and stuff. Guess the Skill Swap doesn't do anything because we all have the same tr um, tricks, same uh, abilities. Is what I meant. Uh, I have to recharge, so I got that Frenzy Plant. I got Vice Grip. He stays asleep and gets paralyzed again. So um. He hasn't actually dealt any damage to me. I think it took him. He didn't actually hurt me till the fifth turn. So he could have done with a facade on his guy's uh, Pokemon then, because he's paralyzed. Obviously, that would have done more damage. And I get the Reflect, which is awesome. Now, uh, the, he's kind of got, I hope he gets specially orientated attacks. He gets the. Uh, he wakes up, but Confusion doesn't help me here. But he does get the Splash. So, um, things really aren't going his way this game. I mean, he finally gets the Dive, but. Um, it doesn't actually hit me this turn, so it's another turn with not hitting me. Here I get the signal beam, but uh, it dodges it. You'd have thought Genesect had enough common sense just to go for the other guy if the other guy's dove underwater, even though there isn't any water on the field. But um, yeah, he finally gets to do some damage to my Robosex. I just thought of it as quite a cool name for Genesect. But um, yeah, dive does quite a lot of damage, and headbutt does a bit of damage as well. But then again, I've used the swagger on him, so I want to like kind of kill him as soon as possible. Because he's at plus two or plus one, whatever swagger gives you. So, um, metronome and everywhere, power gem, pretty sure, well, I don't know if power gem can give you any boosts or anything, but I do kill his genesex, now it's 4 on 3, I would have liked it if that genesex stayed alive, because he's the paralyzed one, and uh, less threatening. So he comes with real, don't really get why it's called real, but um, I go for the metronome again, obviously you get the leaf storm, so I'm getting all these powerful grass moves, but they're not benefiting me at all, because they're not, like, well, it's resisted times four, and it's non-stab. And I now get minus two, which sucks as well. I get Bone Meringue, which is cool. Don't see that used very often. Well, I mean, the only people you can use it, I think, is a Marowak anyway. Get the Refresh. I'm not poisoned, or... Well, I can't get poisoned. I'm not paralyzed or anything. So, um, he goes for Pursuit. I'm not going to swap. Uh, he goes for Metronome. He gets the Imprisoned. This is amazing. Now he can't use Metronome, which means he has to use Struggle. Um, I go for the Simple Beam. And uh, that changes his ability to simple. I'm not sure what simple does. I can't remember. But um, he can't use metronome now because it's imprisoned. I get the quick claw for some reason. Hang on, I get quick claw and he swaps. I don't really understand. Wait, I'm so confused right now. Um, he swaps after my quick claw activates. That's weird. Um, I get the vault switch though. 
which uh, means I can freely switch and almost kill Friel. If I didn't get that Leaf Storm, I'd have killed it. But um, yeah, Volt Switch, I don't have minus two anymore, which is uh, kind of good. But um, yeah, I get special attack race from download. I get the Metronome Bone Meringue again and kill Friel with a critical hit, like that critical hit mattered. And then um, it's two on four here, and it's looking good for me. Uh, all these downloads happen and stuff. He gets the quick claw. He has no moves left though, so he has to go for the struggle. And um, struggle does quite a good amount of damage, but also hurts himself seriously. Uh, I go for Robo Sec 2 with uh, thingy. He gets heal bell. That's also kind of trolling him a bit. He could have been woken up and free from paralyzation. But here is where the thing happens. Searing shot. Okos all of the uh, the Genesects on the field. So that makes it a 3-0 to me. And that is great game, Aqua Teens. So um, I hope this battle was entertaining for you guys it's certainly different it was fun to battle and um yeah hopefully i'll be able to bring you more uh battles from the tournament if i proceed into further rounds i'm in round three i don't know how many rounds there are but it's all looking good for me so um thanks for watching guys and i'll see you another time